Hey, I'm Dr. Sebastian, and today we're going to discuss uh, the causes and things you can do for medial arch pain, especially with running. Fairly common injury, uh, a lot of people misdiagnose it as plantar fasciitis, but realistically it's a small different tiny muscle um, in the foot which plays a big factor in your running. The first thing you should do with any injury is take a look at the area, even make some marks before you go in to see your healthcare provider and just figuring out exactly where and when you're feeling these problems. Now once you kind of go along the foot, you can cross reference with, uh, with the anatomy on Google and uh, Google Im images for that matter. Uh, but what I would, uh, what, what this video is mainly specifically touching on is going to be um, the inside part of this arch here. So straight down from the big toe all the way to the heel, basically nothing more. Everything on the inside I would consider more of a plantar fasciitis types of conditions. It really depends on the depth. Um, but out here we're mainly looking at the flexor hallucis brevis, which flexes the toe that way, or the abductor, or sorry, the adductor pollicis, um, which basically brings the toe outward this way. This part is a little bit more of the, uh, it's more the meaty section right here. So if you feel this bone, it feels hard and then you drop off into softness. And if this is where you're having your problem, um, it's really not a hard thing to address. With these types of arch conditions, it is really important to get a grasp on it early. Uh, some of the people that I've seen have been cross country runners uh, or track athletes that really have this. Um, and a lot of times it's not something that they've run across the first time. Uh, usually they'll seek treatment after the first few times they've had it and it's more um, problematic at this point or this critical point in their season and so on. Uh, it usually does not take that long to address just as long as you know you're working in the right area. Specific, so finding someone specifically who knows what they're doing, knows, a, knows anatomy in the foot pretty well is a good thing um, really to invest your time and money in at this point. Removing the scar tissue from buildup and uh, overuse and spasm and pain basically within the area um, is going to be the first step of, uh, or the first line of approach to this. Uh, after that, working the athlete back into uh, uh, basically advanced training, um, usually what happens a lot is although the athlete feels pretty good uh, for, a certain for a certain time period, as soon as they start doing uh, more advanced types of drills, plyometrics and whatnot, even increasing their workload over the week. Uh, usually seems to cause little flare-ups here and there. Uh, as long as, and usually what I tell most of my clients, as long as you're aware this will happen, it's not a big deal. Usually the flare-ups are very easy to control. Uh, it only takes a handful of sessions after that throughout the season to make it so this is not even an issue in the athlete's head anymore. Um, and it's really just that, educating the patient and just knowing exactly where to work is the first thing you need to do. Don't forget to check out our ebook at the website below.